the learning targets that we're talking about are developing a model that gives an example of the ways that the spheres interact. We're gonna talk about how human activity affects the atmosphere and the biosphere. And then we're gonna explain what impact those things have on our environment. We've been connecting our science unit, which has to do with Earth spheres and how humans interact with Earth spheres. And so we were lucky enough to start a project about how humans are interacting with the atmosphere and how viruses are interacting with the atmosphere and how we can actually build something to help purify our air here in our classrooms. Don't take man's own case. There we go, it's all secure. Our fifth grade students were making Corsi Rosenthal filters, um, their air filters to go in the classroom. So this project's all about getting air flowing in the classroom, so we can kind of get some of the viruses flowing and it's not so stale. So here we gotta line these up to make a seal, okay? The tape kind of seals up the edges, and then the filters will, will obviously filter out the germs and the fan will blow the air into the filters and the cardboard will keep it sealed. It goes in there and it gets filtered through and it gets cleaned and then it, the fan shoots all that air out. These are going um, into every room. Each of the students worked in partners and they went around to all of the classrooms in the school. We had to measure the length, the width and the height of the room that equals the volume. So that we could be able to figure out how much air we needed to go around the room. 900 cubic feet, I think, per minute. That's how much air it's sucking, like all the germs it's sucking from the room. If it's a really big room, you might have to make one on like each side of the room. The learning experience that we're hoping for is that they're learning how the, the systems interact within the Earth, so the different spheres interact, and, and also the point is that humans can change the way the spheres are interacting. Sometimes it's for the negative, but this is an example of changing it for the positive. We have like bad stuff in the air, like because of COVID, or we want it to like make breathing better. We have some power and we can kind of um, improve our environment. So the fan filters out all the germs and bacteria and um, the germs and bacteria go in and all the fresh air comes out. Um, I, I, I like um, the, the things that you, that you build. Thank you so much. Yeah, the fifth graders worked really hard on that. We appreciate that feedback. All right.